can I just... Did Aiden Hutchinson play? Well, see, that's funny because I was just about to say, you should be happy. Thibodeau's back tonight. Guaranteed win. Sunshine will be in your life tonight, Mike. Well, I will tell you. I actually... I found something that Michigan football did that was really endearing. And I thought of you. The turnover buffs. Did you see that this week? I heard about them. It's outstanding. Like, I don't like that university or its football team, but I'll be damned. Well done on the turnover buffs. I thought we were done with the turnover stuff. No, no, no. Turnover buffs. That, 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 that's a good one. When Miami retired it, I thought it was a good time for everybody to retire. By the everything. way, if you think it's rough being a state fan right now, at least you're not Miami. You got blown out by Middle Tennessee State. And I'm quite sure everybody's talking about you know, Crystal Ball's $80 million contract, too, right? You know what? <laughs> Let's just move on. Because that I, is not a flag, David. That's not a flag because no. even the AP put stuff out there about a certain coach and his money. So I just thought that whenever a coach loses, you put the contract in there. No, no, no. Oh. Tuck is a special project for many. We'll leave it alone. We'll get to it tomorrow. Um, let's, let's, David, <laughs> ticket text. I, uh, Sorry. Whoa. Got a little too real. Spicy. Sorry. No, but David, he has a point. He does have a point. He sure does. Oh, man. Someone says, this is not Caldwell 2.0. Caldwell won games. This is Campbell 1.0. So when you guys are going to run this, when are you guys going to run this loser out of Detroit, they say? He's on year two of a six-year deal. They are showing signs of major progress, and it's week three. And you're talking about running somebody out on a rail? It's a little too early. A little too premature for the running out. Now, now, David, you know, Mike's head is about to explode. You lose to Seattle. You lose to New England. And you going into the bye week at one and four. You give me bye week at one and four, and I'll tell. And you lose to Brian Hoyer. Yeah, I'll start openly questioning, like, is is this the guy? Yeah. I mean, it it looks good, but they can't finish. They can't win games. It's got to stop. It's it's the paradox. You know what it is, Mike, and and this is going to go full circle for you, but if that's the case, then it's going to start looking like Nebraska football, where they make progress, they're close in so many games, and you think that it's going to turn the corner, and it never did. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Jim is up next, 97-1. Hi, Jim. Jim. Hey. Hello. There, there you are. are. Hello, now hello. I hear you. Loud and clear. What's All going right. on, buddy? All right. Uh, not much is heading down the road here in uh, Tennessee. Um, a couple things that I was thinking about while I was on hold. First one is talking about the injuries of the Lions. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Devin Cook have 96 yards rushing in the first half yeah. and didn't play in the entire second half? Yeah, he got hurt. Okay, so if he would have played, I don't know if we'd be having this conversation anyways. Right, but, but would, we have, is, would we have the same conversation if Amon Ross St. Brown doesn't get hurt or if Tracy Walker doesn't under, die? Like, it, it goes both right, ways, I, Jim. I, I get it. No, I get it. And it, it's a what if. And same thing with Campbell making those decisions. What if he went for it and got the first down? Only thing that I cannot wrap my brain around and help me out on this to maybe put some insight on what he was thinking is when Minnesota had the ball, they completed that pass at the 30-yard line, and there's 50 seconds left. You're up by three. They have the ball, first and ten, and they call a defensive timeout. Yep. Help me on that. Why I can't. would you want to stop the clock? I can't because Minnesota was, was in all likelihood spiking it. Mm-hmm. Period. But there's there's no outcome to that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how does that benefit you? It doesn't. He did the same thing against Baltimore when you call a timeout and you let them call their best play. I didn't understand it. J- Jim, again, he do- the mark of great coaching is end of half, end of game, time management, timeout management, challenges, situations, etc. This is two of the three games this year. And if we wrote off last year where he made a litany of errors, now I ain't writing these things off anymore. This is kind of who you are. So it stops now or you're telling me you're not the guy. Right, because coming out the next, well, right after the game, yeah, I made a mistake. I, I like, yeah, we've we've been there before. 
You know, if you're thinking of calling timeout, do the opposite. Don't. Just see what happens. Because at this point, Minnesota was the team that was struggling. Minnesota had to get up to the line. Minnesota was the team that was rushed. You helped them with the timeout. And the very next play, it burns you. Let's go to Scotty, 97-1. What's up, Scott? Well, guys, I'll tell you, you know, being a Lions fan for all these years, that was a disappointing loss. But a lot of people are forgetting that there was an even bigger turning point in the middle of the game. Like, with five minutes to go, the Lions have fourth and one at their own 42. Now, they've been going for it on fourth down all day, right? Right. And the, yeah, the thing is, they, they instead, they elect to punt. Instead, I'm like, why aren't you going for it? You've been doing that all day. I would understand if it was fourth and six or fourth and eight, but it's fourth and one. Yeah, but you're on your own 42. The, you're on your own 42. Yeah. And remember, they yeah, went but, for it. But hear me out, though. But okay. Hear me out, though. You, 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 go, you go for it, and you get it. You keep this drive alive. You keep the momentum going. And then you take what? Like two, an extra two minutes off the clock. The problem is when you punted that, not only did you give the Vikings the ball back, they marched right down the field to score a touchdown and shifted the entire game's momentum after that. Okay, just, but, but know, timeout, just, timeout. Uh, can, can I just I, – I, I question this when you said it. It was fourth and one at your own 27, not the No, 40. I said 42. I said they were 42. Right, but it was the, it's the 27. And then later on he comes back and goes for it on fourth and one. He goes for it. At the Minnesota 30. Now, again, here's the interesting part. You're at Minnesota's 34th and one with almost four minutes to go. Don't you kick the field goal there? But he didn't. He went for it. Then the next time down, he takes the field goal. Right. See, what I would argue is reverse engineer it. Take the field goal with Take the field goal with four minutes to go. Give yourself a chance. So you have to again. You're bringing up. You're you're wrong on the front end, Scotty. You're not going for it on your own twenty-seven. You're not. I don't care what I and I see. I see stuff now. I've where seen I, it like it was a college team that just recently did that, where they went for ha, it. Ha, 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 Florida, Billy Napier, fourth and inches on his own twenty-four, and throws a fifty-yard bomb to f me. Not that I'm bitter. Wow. Oh, um. He pulled that out of the. I, I, I feel like I just walked into a minefield. Wow. Wow. Not that I'm bitter. I, I just want to say, he points and laughs. He gives me the sinister laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, why don't you just give me a list of games that I should not talk about? <laughs> you like a running receipt, right? Right. I'm like, hey. You made me feel like the New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> You're going to have a bottom line. Things that piss Mike off. Just keep the scroller going on Alliance Monday today. <laughs> hey, so Aaron Judge. Nah, I, mean, I ain't got no problems with him. Okay, there we go. But, we but, got but, something. But David. you ready? Yeah. I ain't paying him. He's going to hit the home run tonight. Good. Do it. I don't give a damn. I'm not paying a 30-year-old a 10-year deal for $500 million. Not doing it. Well, I mean... Just think at the end when you can parade him out there when he's hitting singles. In what, his casket? And he's, you know, trying to get that 500th home run and all of that stuff. Having lived, I've seen that before. Having lived the Cabrera and pool holes <laughs> right. deals. Limping to the plate. Right, limping to the plate. But, hey, everybody likes him. Right, he's up there like Grandpa Simpson. Wave to the crowd. You remember back last century? Okay. <laughs> no, no one knows who you are. You're just a really tall guy. <laughs> That's, that's that's it's it doesn't matter. You can't talk sense into people. It's optics. But yeah, trash. you don't go you know, in, in the NFL. You you don't. Nah. <sighs> you know what? Maybe <laughs> you got to be a good team with a lot of cachet, and you do it in the first half, and you'll catch everybody off guard. 